So last year, brap, brap, brapping down the trail, my clutch fell off, broke the end of my crank off, and I think I know why. So I wanted to show you folks what happened and why I think my clutch actually broke off the end of my crank. Hey, what's going on, folks? My name's Clay with the Clayway here in Grand Rapids, Muskegon, Michigan. And if this video is helpful, please consider subscribing, clicking the notification, sharing my videos, and give me them sweet old thumbs up. If you've got a question related to your sled, I don't know everything about them. I'm not a skidoo mechanic, but I'll try to answer them. What I know, I know a lot about electrical and I have a lot of videos on these playlists. The easiest way to reach out to me is Clay's AC and Auto Repair on Facebook Messenger. I answer them the quickest usually and I can share information with you about electrical schematics and stuff like that if I have them available for me. But if this video is helpful, please turn the volume down at nighttime so you don't have to listen to this old mouth run. Put on one of my sweet Clayway playlists and let them suckers play from front to back. Check this out. What I think I figured out why my clutch broke. I had a vibration before this clutch fell off and it was weird. But I had rebuilt this clutch like six months before. But because I'm ignorant, imagine that. I didn't know what I was doing. And I found out some information that I'm going to share here with you real quick. Check this out. So I see where the problem is. This arrow points to this dot, which would point to a dot down here. And this is the problem. This is not the correct area where that is supposed to be lined up. That mark right there. So that is supposed to be lined up with it. And as you can tell, I kind of can see how I could have made the mistake that drill mark you would have thought was supposed to be lined up there but that's not the mark so this thing is off and that's why it's out of balance because them are the factory balancing marks separating this clutch and doing the other work that was on the inside of there was pretty easy uh, I didn't actually make video of that but I did make video of us rebuilding the bottom end of this engine which I didn't see on YouTube as being really available, some of the things I went through. I put on about 300 miles on the sled. I have no more vibration. My clutch hasn't came apart, and my engine's still holding up. Thank God, knock on wood. Be brap, brap, brapping down the trail for a long time to come. Hopefully you dug the video. Hopefully it was helpful. Take a look at your clutch. Make sure it's not assembled incorrectly like mine, because I could see where this would be a problem that... A lot of novice, ignorant asses like me could do. Remember, if anyone else can do it, I promise you, no matter what it is, you can do it too. Please consider subscribing, clicking the notification, sharing my videos, and giving me them sweet old thumbs up. Don't be the next to them. Be the very first to you, and God bless, folks. Have the best of days.